Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. It's a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Taurus. It will not resonate with every Taurus who views the video, but if it does, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, I'm at 10,000, I'm a little over 10,000 now subscribers. So as appreciation to everyone, I am uh, extending $5 one question readings via email. So um, if you want to take advantage of that, go ahead and go over to the website and book or send me an email and we can do it that way. Uh, also, I'm on Instago, um, but I don't set the prices on Instago. So anyhow, moving right along. Okay, so I pulled the cards for us. Love past present and future career and finance additional uh, messages of support okay so the bottom of the deck for love we have the tower unexpected event some change comes in and rattles you know it shakes up it might even have something to do with sex or uh, sexual activity here i never really say that when i see the tower so maybe that's what it is uh but what was built on faulty ground now is going to be shaken so what will happen then well let's see in the past we have the chariot some of you could be dealing with the cancer judgment the empress it's definitely about you in the past there was contemplation uh almost moving toward someone deciding to just be single and, and go this alone and being very definite and final about this entire situation maybe due to someone outside of the relationship um, it caused Taurus or someone that Taurus is dealing with to want to um, question the relationship and, pro and possibly move move forward alone okay so i'm feeling like this is for some of you Taurus. it's for the other person they felt like they wanted to end things and um just move forward without the relationship presently you have the five of cups yep the magician and these three cards fell out uh the ace of swords eight of swords page of wands some of you have children in the midst of this relationship. Uh, that's why you're feeling st stuck and trapped here. But truth and clarity is coming to you. And you're going to make a way out of this. Right now you're grieving the process. Some of you are in the process of moving away from. Um, this person did something. Like I said, could have had another party involved in the relationship. Very manipulative. Or you're trying to manipulate a new start or you're trying to manipulate the truth of the situation you're trying to get that future six of cups page of cups seven of cups in the future it's almost as, as if you guys have reconciliation you come back together someone is wanting you know they they're, they're extending an apology giving loving messages it makes you emotionally confused now if this is not you then it could be very very well a water sign you're dealing with cancer pisces scorpio lots of water even an air sign gemini libra aquarius maybe a fire sign um but definitely in the future it looks like you guys have taken a break or there is either physical separation or there's emotional and mental separation here and in the future you know it can play out up to six months whatever future is to you um, someone comes around and they and they offer an apology they offer loving messages they offer um, messages of wanting to invest back in the relationship it makes you confused also, sometimes this is uh, broken promises, uh, the unfaithful spouse. So be very weary of that. Um, the tower is at the bottom of the deck. I think that's the ace of swords here. 
some truth and clarity does come in maybe by way of one of your children or a younger fire sign or reliable friend gives you some insight as to what's going on okay career and finance the bottom of the deck for career and finance page of earth looks re really promising something is new something has started something is new something has started um it's either started or you have the messages of that maybe something or or it's in its very early stages or there's there are messages of stability in uh a new path or maybe an already established path let's see uh we've got the ten of air probably newness here that's an ending D great disappointment suffering uh, that is all the things that encompass the ten of air, but now it's over. You you can no longer give this situation any more mental energy. The ten of air says it's over. Um, being blindsided, backstabbed, just overall disappointed. Uh, the sun, yeah. So after the ten of air, we're gonna get some positivity. We're gonna get some illumination. Uh, some things that w weren't known to us, weren't seen, could very well be um, illuminated to us, uh, brought to our attention. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, King of Water. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular here. Um, some things about maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in regards to... Career and finance have been illuminated to you for you or to you. Maybe this is a boss. Let's see. Five of Earth. Yeah, you're um I think Taurus is removing themselves from a situation uh in regards to career and finance. Your finance may be tied into your relationship, especially if it's a marriage. Uh, there it might be messages of stability elsewhere. Uh, the universe is bringing some illumination, some some truth and clarity, and some positivity your way, so that maybe you can get back in control of your emotions and and um, be on a loving, open path. As long as you separate yourself or cut away from and or get out of the mentality of lack. Uh, depletion desperation here the five of earth this could be in career could be in love all right and at the bottom of the deck for uh, the additional cards of advice from the butterfly oracle deck is parental care like I said we got the page here we got three pages in the six of cups uh, children are highlighted in regards some of you are waiting some of you, um, some of you waiting for for money or court case, child support case to be resolved, or so, something about money, maybe from another parent. Parental care is highlighted. Okay, so either it, it's either you know one or two ways. Um, your parent in parental care is highlighted for you in regards to the children that you have um, take a little bit more time effort energy with them or you need to go backwards you need to go and um, enact some parental care with your parent your mother your father um, the cycle of life you know they change your diapers you might have to change theirs now so parental care, even if it's not that drastic, um, maybe there's something going on with your parents or they can help in this matter. Um, there's help, there's support here. Okay, parental care and then we have family changes. Yeah, it looks like somebody is has or is moving on or moved out or they're concerned about the children, um, concerned about the family home concerned about what it looks like to leave somebody's leaving someone staying someone's in and out realizations and epiphanies some of you are praying to heaven for clarity 
it comes by way of the ace of sword there's your realization and your epiphany the sun card is here also what's been done in the dark will be illuminated to you if you feel it in your soul realization and epiphanies is probably true and then support wow didn't i say support with parental care either you know either you need to support your children more or go back and get support from your parents they can help you in this situation uh you are stronger than you know nice um yeah some of you are feeling weak low self-esteem lack depletion just not in the best light here maybe due to the fact of some of you grieving the situation here grieving the loss of um, spiritual clarity is coming for you okay so Taurus, if this resonated with you and you want to expound on this energy to see if this is for you or how does this work for you, take advantage of the special, the $5 one question reading, or go over to the website and book something a little bit more extensive so you can get real truth and clarity. Uh, remember, Taurus, to stay in prayer. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until the July mid-month readings, all right? Uh, I'm on Instago. I'm on Instagram. Uh, my website is below. Send me an email. Several ways of getting in contact with me, okay? Alright, guys.